Do you remember when you first met Sean Price? Man, um, Ruck was always in Brownsville, so it's hard to say when I actually met Ruck because he was in Brownsville. I grew up in Brownsville. We he might have been on the he might have been on this side of the street when I was on that side of the street. So, but when I officially became you know, yo, that's my dude. My dude was probably around 91. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Around 91. And I always vowed that I was going to take myself to a level and I was going to bring my brothers with me. And I, and I knew, like, once I got on, I was going to come back and get the dudes that, that helped me get to this, this level right here. Like, Sean Price, you know, a.k.a. Ruck, yeah. I felt was one of the least standout members of Duck Down during that early time because you know he was in the group with Nocturnal and, and Rock had that voice yeah, yeah, you know yeah, that, yeah. that everyone mm -hmm. was kind of drawn to and I felt like he was like the standout member of the group oh it's gonna happen you know a lot of times you you know you don't remember Ruck Ruck's verses as much mm -hmm. and I just find it so amazing that as time went on he actually became you know, one of the most prominent people of Duck Down. Like, he was like the poster boy for Duck Down for a long Ruck time. Ruck saved us. I'm going to just give it to you real simple and plain. Ruck saved us. Ruck, we was, we was near done. Financially, we was close to, like, the red button, like, the artist-wise, the records, this, that, audience, you maxed out the whole, yo, real hip hop, man. And then Ruck just came and flipped style and lyrics. I never, I never, I became a fan of, of Ruck. Always was a fan of his, but I became a fan of that, that Ruck. Like, I, it was like, you know, and I always tell that story about how from that point, Duck Down actually came back. Because people know that we survived all these years, but from that point when Ruck started releasing a slew of records, just records, 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 records. I mean, he just, he had that concept. Whereas before, it would be this whole mystical, magical being in the studio for X amount of time and then wait for it to drop and then anticipation of, he like later for all that. I'm dropping verse after verse after verse after verse, and because of that, it's it did it saved us. And then he it, he brought us to get Drew High with Ninth Wonder, and from that point, we our, we our sh we started flowing again. What was it that made so many people connect with Sean Price? Ruck didn't care, for real, for real, for real. He didn't care. Like it wasn't an act. It wasn't. Uh, um, it wasn't none of that. I think people just attracted to him personifying what they would really want to personify, but they got boundaries and reasons why they can't do that. Whereas Ruck just didn't give a fuck. Real talk. Fuck your, your I'm lady, your, your, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be the flyest. I'm gonna give the people this and I'm gonna just whatever it was Ruck was just like man like fuck all that real hip like like all the people that necessarily when I say real hip-hop vibe like there'd be people coming in and they'd make their version of what they think real hip-hop was or is and Ruck would just be like man fuck all that lyrical spiritual miracle bullshit like <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit, you know. And it and it did it influenced because from that point, it influenced us because from that point we had to play the back. But he became, that's why. Um, and 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 the and in one of the joints, he everybody say it, but in one of the joints, he like Sean Price, yeah, leader of the boot camp, click now, you know. When he said that, it was real. It was true. It didn't matter how much people felt and knew at the time or felt like, yo, Buckshot is like, first, you know, like, no. I actually, you know, hey, you know, I, my mind frame and it's a whole other position 
the way we move. Ruck became the leader of the boot camp clique because he was finding ways to dig holes for us to come through and came back. I remember I was driving around LA and I saw this mural that said, Sean Carter is nice, but Sean Price is the best. Yeah. See, he didn't give a fuck about saying that. He didn't care. Some rappers would have said, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Or, you know, unless I got drama with the dude or unless I want beef or with him. And Ruck would be the... Ruck would be the type that'll see you, see Sean uh, Carter, and be like, yeah, I said that. That's how I feel. Like, ain't no beef, though, Duke. Like, you, you, you good? And you might say something like, nah, I ain't good. Like, yo, you just said you the better, and then he'll get his. So what the, f you know, once he, you know, go there, it's, 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 it's kind of it's kinda hard. And the, and, and the crazy thing is, because Ruck didn't give a fuck, he was the he was the total opposite, I guess, of what people would think. Meaning, like, he was the coolest dude in the world. So I didn't like nobody getting hurt. He didn't like, like, like just certain things. If if it was like, I guess you would think that Ruck would get on some. I don't care. I don't care about that. Like, actually, like family, you know, and real, real close friends. That he called family, he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't like that. You know, he didn't like that. How did you feel when you heard he passed away? Oh my gosh, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I was at my baby, baby mom's crib because I was supposed to go to Canada to do a show. And um, Shucky had called my phone, it was like eight, eight in the morning and uh I'm probably like nine or something, eight, nine, maybe eight, I gotta remember. Um it was like eight something and Shucky called me and said, Yo, this nigga Ruck died, man. So I said, What? Like, what what are you talking about, man? He's like, Yo, this nigga Ruck died, man. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about, Shucky? Like, he was like, yo, the nigga died this morning, son. I was like, this can't, like, what? Is, I don't, I don't know how to register. What the hell you mean? I went outside, and the moment I went outside, my man, his, my man Prince, baby had just was born. The minute Prince, uh, uh, Ruck had died. My man Prince baby was born, so Prince had called me and was like, yo, God, I had, a, I got a son, I had a son. So I was like, son, yo. And from that point on, I told him Ruck was, was, was gone and he was flipping and I was flipping and I was started flipping through the streets. I'm running through the streets, people asking me I'm okay. I'm not okay, I'm smoking cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? I don't even smoke stoves. <laughs> so I'm running through the streets smoking Lucy cigarettes. I'm like, it just, I didn't know how to register, you know? So I ran over to the crib and when I ran over to the crib, I went upstairs and, you know, there was my brother, you know, he was laid out in the bed, man. I had to see him laid out in the bed, like gone, you know what I'm saying? Just laid right there. I'm like, how is this, po like, I, it still don't register today, but back, like, at the, it, it really didn't register. I was like, yo, like, you know, his his leg is shaped like a pea, like, he in pea position. I look at his eyes, I'm like, you know, his mouth, I had to close my man's mouth. You know what I'm saying? I had to close his eyes, you know? I made Salat next to him, you know, as and as a Muslim, he get what they call a geneza, you know? So I had to actually clean his body. Me still tech, like, I, you know, I give respect. That was, that, that was harsh. You know what I'm saying? Like to see, to clean your man. You like, yo, I'm cleaning my man, he going. Like, I don't, like, it's almost like a computer when you put it on, and you type in the, the wrong thing. It just keep going, not found, match not found, match not, not. That's how it was to me. So still to this day, 
people, they bombard the internet and they bombard things with, with rucks, pictures, and they just be, yo, it just be, yo, be driving me crazy because the only way for me to deal with this is is to like not 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 I don't deal with it like I'm not I don't put up pictures with recipes rock I don't do the recipes any of that I don't do none of it because it still doesn't register to me and actually yesterday I was I was move I was um I was swiping his his thing you know and I was like damn I miss you you know yeah man I mean how that must have been unbelievably hard. You actually went and visited his dead body along yeah. with the other other boot camp click. Like right there, like the coroner hadn't come yet or anything else like that yet? Nah. Nah. Not no coroner. You know? <laughs> like, nah, no coroner came. Wow. And his his <laughs> wife was still there too? Yeah. What, were his kids in the in the room? The kids was there. Um, I think I know Bernadette was there. Obviously, uh, sh yeah, man, everybody was there. Sean Price, his uh, his daughter, man, it, it impacted his daughter. You know. She, I think she was the one that in, it impacted the most, you know what I'm saying? Because for her, she's a little girl and she was super, super close to Ruck. Super close. If you look at all of the shows that we did, you would see Ruck and his daughter and you would see me with the Buckettes. You know what I'm saying? So like every show was either it was Ruck and Sean and Buck and the Buckets. Yeah. Yeah, so, and he yeah, was man. only 43 years old when he passed. Yeah, man. It, it's, it's, it's like it's, that, that is so, so young. Yeah. You know, this, this, this show, this shit ain't no joke, man. This shit is no joke. There's been times where, and there's been more way more times than a hundred <laughs> um, that I would be on the road, man. I'd be like, yo, man, I don't suggest this life for nobody. Like, yo, I don't suggest this life for nobody. They don't understand what they would get up at five in the morning. Time to go. After you do the show, you just get up at five and six in the morning or seven, whatever it is. Even if you get up 12 o'clock, Check out time. You got to get up. You got to get in the car, load the stuff. You got to get ready to drive to the airport, get on the airport, wait for the thing, fly to wherever. As soon as you land, somebody's coming, take you to the into your hotel room. Before you do that, you got to eat something, go to the hotel room, change your clothes, get ready for the show, go to the thing, sign autographs. That, yo, that's, that's, and then you do that every day, every day, every day, every day. So when when Little Wayne and and myself and Chris Brown and and certain and Rick Ross and all these other individuals who suffer from a, a physical um, aspect of it is 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 where it really come in at where I'll be like man I might have thought it was me and you know I just go through that and then you see stuff like that. What do you think about the whole situation? Man, my point of view, man, I really feel like they tried to paint a, a bad picture on my brother and tried to make him look like, like he was a hater. Uh, it was some envy, jealousy type shit, you know what I'm saying? And actuality, you know what I'm saying? Bro, been having this shit, man. He been in the condo. I got my hat on and I had my Coke bottles up under my hat. And I'm sitting at the dinner table like an asshole with the hat on, knowing she's gonna tell me to take it off. And I'm just sitting there just gawping down, you know, in my zone. She said, take that goddamn hat off at the dinner table. I'm like, come on, mom. Coat everywhere. 